Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today I wanna to get into the kitchen. I wanna get some decluttering, some major organizing done. We've only been in this house about a month and the kitchen needs some attention, <laughs> it needs some help. I really wanna get things put into some pretty bins, some canisters, get things organized so the kitchen functions for me better. Right now it's just kind of a chaotic mess. I'm actually doing this as part of a clutter-free January. That is a whole series of videos that is gonna help you declutter and organize your space throughout the month of January, give you tons of tips and tricks, motivation and inspiration to get your house in order. So I will go ahead and have a playlist of a ton of really incredible YouTubers and videos linked down below that you can check out. Without further ado, let's get into my kitchen. I'm so excited, let's do it. Here are some things that I've got just to help me get started with this organizing process. I got these bins at Home Goods. I thought they were so pretty and I'm gonna use them for my medicine and vitamins then these actually came from Amazon these are for my spices and I think this is really gonna change everything for me because I'll show you in a second what my spice situation is but it is not pretty and at Hobby Lobby I found these really pretty canisters and jars that I will be using for some baking supplies then just a few labels so let's get started with all of this and then I've got a couple of tips for you that I'm really excited to share because it can really, really change the game. I want to start over here first. This is where I really want to keep all of my baking supplies. So I had this left over from a refrigerator project that I did and I thought I could use it in here. So basically all my extracts, my baking powder, baking soda, stuff like that I want right here. Then I have vitamins and medicine also in the kitchen. Let me know in a comment, do you keep your vitamins um, and medicine in the bathroom or in the kitchen? I think it'd be really fun to know because these can be tricky to know where to store them. But since I've got little kids, I like to keep them up. Then I have candles up here as well, which I really like having them in the kitchen because this is where I burn them. And then I have some more vitamins that are kind of my backup. If I come across anything that I wanna get rid of, I will go ahead and purge it. But for now, let's just see how well we can organize this. A tip I have when you are organizing your kitchen is to really think in zones. So I have all of my pots and pans right below where I'm standing here to the left of my oven because that's where I'm gonna just grab the pots and pans to cook with. So it makes sense for me to zone that way. I have all of my dish towels right next to the sink. And then because I do a lot of baking in the oven, again, I like to have all of my baking supplies right here in this cabinet. Anyway, just something to think about. But now that I have all of my baking ingredients in these little canisters, I'm gonna go ahead and put labels on them. So these little label stickers, like I said, I just grabbed at Hobby Lobby. They look really cute. And then I got these Jelly Roll white pens. I'm hoping this works out. I'm just gonna label these really quickly. And then right on the bottom with a Sharpie, the expiration dates, because if you use a magic eraser, it actually comes right off. So before you throw away all your old containers, go ahead and write the expiration on the bottom. And then no problem when you get a new one because like I said, it just comes off. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of these written on here. I feel like I used to write with these gel pens all the time when I was like 13. Tell me if you can relate, but these used to be my favorite. One of the clutter-free kitchen tips I've shared in the past is to try and keep things off of the counters. But knowing that this is not always an option, especially if your kitchen is small, making things aesthetically pleasing like this is a really nice way to make them displayable, if that makes sense. You can actually have these out on the counter and they can look really, really cute if you're tight on space. And then I always recommend having jars that you're going to display for sure, be a little bit more classic and streamlined. And then I loved the black and white stickers. That way, if you are going to be displaying them, they won't clash with any of your regular decor. For the rest of everything else, I think I'm just gonna have to leave it in its original container because that would be kind of tricky to work with. But let me know if you have any other ideas 
or if you were me, if you would just leave it in the original jar. Um, same with the peanut butter. I might actually put that in the pantry just because I am looking to make this as aesthetically pleasing as humanly possible because that's, like I said, just what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down. This is a spare, which I will keep under the sink since it can be used pretty much for everything. And I do clean my sink with that. So let's go ahead and wipe this down and then we can start putting things back and seeing how they look. With any organizing project, I always recommend being really open-minded and willing to move things around. I actually move around several things just in this little amount of time that I am in the kitchen doing this organizing today, but just kind of see how things work. And remember, you can try things out for a couple of days and then go back and change them later. So that's something I always recommend is being willing to kind of swap out containers, move things around from cupboard to cupboard, see how things are functioning for you, and then just go from there. I am loving this side, it looks cute. This side, I'm not quite sure what to do about. Honestly, I might even put this in the pantry um, just so that I can get the aesthetic that I'm going for in this particular cupboard. I feel like I could hide this pretty well in the pantry, but we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and move on to this vitamin cupboard right here. I think the little wooden crates are gonna be the perfect solution. I think they're gonna be the right size and everything. So let's go ahead and pop all the vitamins into one crate and then the medicines into another. And then I'll just leave everything in the baggies that they're already in just so that they don't spill into the bottom of the crate. But I think it's gonna look really good. Another tip I have when you are looking to minimize, go a little bit more clutter free, have a more organized home, any of that stuff, is not to be afraid of empty spaces. You want your home to breathe. I think sometimes we just get into the habit of trying to fill every open space, but remember, you don't have to. I have some vitamins here that have expired, and then this blue container is part of my old organization system from years ago. So I can donate this little blue container or else keep it maybe for something else upstairs in the bathroom. I'll hang on to it for a second and see what I think, but I know I don't want it in the kitchen. And then this cute little candle holder is something that I've loved for years, but I think I'm done with it. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on. I'll put it in my donation pile. Then I've got this little canister or container of essential oils, which honestly, I rarely if ever use anymore. So I'm honestly thinking about donating all of these just because I know some people love to use them and it's just not really my thing. Um, except for lemongrass, uh, which I love to drop down into my sink after I do the dishes. So I'll see if I have a lemongrass. And then um, peppermint, I love to drop into the sinks in the bathroom. So if I have those, I'll keep them. And maybe this On Guard, um, that one's really good if you're sick. So of those, those are the only ones I use. I'll just go ahead and donate the rest. This makes me happy. I have the two cookbooks that I use, which are the Joanna Gaines, all of my recipe cards in here. Then candles up here, which I would love to conceal. I will try and go back and see if I can get another one of these boxes. That is definitely not necessary. But um, for somebody like me who likes things kind of hidden, that will work better. So I'll see if I can find something that will hold the candles. Otherwise, I'll just be okay with it. All right, I have a tip and that is to have a kitchen reserve. I did not realize the importance of this until we hosted Christmas this year and my kitchen, although it functions really well for me on a day to day, it is not set up for hosting. It's not set up for cooking um, like a large elaborate meal. For example, here is my drawer with my measuring cups and my measuring spoons. It would have been really nice if I'd had an extra set 
of each along with a couple extra mixing bowls. So I think I went a little far with my decluttering. I wish when I was getting rid of my extra sets that I had actually set them aside um, for just occasions like what I was talking about when we're hosting, when we have a lot of people in the kitchen helping and cooking. It would be nice to have an extra set of measuring cups and measuring spoons and a couple extra mixing bowls that I don't have just kind of hanging out in my kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tote, which is huge, and I'm not recommending this necessarily this size, um, but it's what I had. I also wanna get a couple extra plates, um, some extra silverware, just make it a little bit easier for people when they come over, especially people that are helping me in the kitchen. We're not having to re-wash things over and over and over again. It just, it would really save time if I had a little reserve. So my tip is if you have extras, duplicates of things that could come in handy before you actually get rid of them, maybe put them in your life reserve. At this point, I'm kind of moving stuff around, seeing what I like, and I recommend doing that. Just kind of mess with things a little bit. Don't necessarily commit yourself to one system until you've tried it out. So I am going to try this. I have this now, which is just kind of an extra. So if I don't end up using this in the next couple of weeks, I guess, I will go ahead and donate it. But I just like things being concealed. <laughs> that is definitely my favorite way to organize have things as hidden as possible. And if they're going to be out in the open, I'd like them to be a little bit more streamlined and um, uniform. Here is the bag of spices that I was telling you about earlier. Everything is just mismatched. Everything is in these little baggies, which is not easy to find the spices that you're looking for. So I definitely wanna change that. The very fastest way to go about this is to just go sheet by sheet and grab the stickers that you know you're going to need. I pretty much know the spices that are in my cupboard. So just go sheet by sheet, stick the stickers on, and then go on from there. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up sheet by sheet here really quickly, and then I can get filling these up again. Ideally, I would like to find a shelving unit of some kind, a drawer insert maybe that would allow me to stack these so that I can see all of them at once. But until I get something like that, this will work fine for now. I'm going to put the spices that I use most often at the very, very front. And then you'll see on these next couple of shelves, I have some tea and then open space, which again, I... Um, really kind of enjoy. It's a couple days later now, but I did want to give you a little update on just a couple small changes I made, but I think they're really good. I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, having things in the place where you're really going to be using them. So zoning your kitchen out. I definitely use my vanilla extract a lot when I'm cooking. So I went ahead and added that to this little section of the kitchen over here. Then I was able to find this really cute little woven plastic basket and this is perfect for my teas. And I like that it has a lid. This one I just grabbed at TJ Maxx and it fits perfectly right above the spices. So I have that and that just looks really, really nice and I like how all the teas are able to fit in the same container together. If you found this video motivating or inspiring or helpful, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. Also, the playlist down below will be there for your convenience if you'd like to check out any of the other videos in the A Clutter Free January series. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.